The Jaffa girls have been creating art mischief around the Miami Valley. Their goal is twofold, to have fun and to build community. Hi, I'm Nancy Mellon. And I'm Corrine Baractorolu. And, and we, we are the, the Jaffa, Jaffa Girls. So the question everybody asks is, what does Jaffa stand for? I had a big show in West Carrollton, and I think 10 people showed up that evening for the reception. I was pouting, and my husband said, oh, well, you're just a bunch of Jaffas. It's, you know, Saturday night in the middle of nowhere, and you're just another bunch of flipping artists, you know? I just thought that was hilarious, and I thought, that's what, that's what I am, I'm a Jaffa, I'm just another artist. So I'm gonna do things a little differently. If I can't bring people to my work, I will bring my work to them. And that was sort of the start of it, wasn't it? And we started coming up with ideas for things we wanted to and do And she together. just had the Jaffa attitude. We'll just do what we want, when we want, and when we're in the mood, right? Yes. <laughs> and one of our first ideas was we wanted to make people really notice that Yellow Springs was an art town. So we decided to make an art gallery in the train station's bathrooms. And called it the Chamber Pot and Gallery. And called it the Chamber Pot Gallery. Oh, so that was one of our first projects. It was the, the beginning of this crazy sort of like fun adventure. Yes. She's goofy. And she listens. We both listen to each other, and it, that is so much That's fun, true, yeah. and it also is... Um, There's no sort of competition or ego battles. And we can be honest with each other. Yes. Very honest. Yeah. Nancy and I will get together every Tuesday and have a cup of tea, and then we start chatting, plotting, Sometimes we've seen something that inspires us, right? Yeah, and there's um, a lot of what if we did this, do you think that would be cool? Or And then the other one riffs off of that. With the yarn bombing, it started because Nancy and I are big proponents of supporting the Yellow Springs Arts Council and artists in general. We created an event about graffiti. And so as and part of it, Crean does a lot of looking on the internet at other art things that are going on. And she had found, it's like a little thing yeah. over a door handle. But it was really cool. The right. Just the idea was, oh, you could put knitted things outside. Out front was this lovely big old tree. So we just put on a couple of pieces. And that was it for that particular show. So I asked Green, why don't we yarn bomb the rest Oh, you of didn't it? ask me, you just started doing it. Oh, you okay. You thought it looked really sad. But what was really neat was that while we put up and made probably most of it, other people started getting involved it too. It did inspire a lot of fun for the community. But there were still some people, because it's Yellow Springs, who were definitely concerned about the health of this tree. So we ended up taking it down come spring, which was only like six months later or something. We recycled the knitting and we decided to add to it and we yarn bombed every single pole, tree and bench on Dayton Street. So we recycle a lot. We recycle the flowers, we recycle yarn. And things sort of changed for us too. We started off with the yarn, but we started using a lot more felt and it became much more about applique felt and doing different layers. Well, one of the other projects that we did was we... We had a six week artist residency at the Dayton Metro Library. Northwest branch. Yes, brand new, brand new, beautiful. We felt like the library was made for us because this library has a bazillion poles. And as <laughs> yarn bombers, you use poles often. So everywhere we looked, and there was one that was to die for. Oh, it was gorgeous. We spent half the time where we worked with people there on projects that we had mm. made up. And then the other half of the time, we just got to play. It was a wonderful, it wonderful was a lovely experience. experience. Yeah. So what we're working on today is we're going to do some more blue butterflies. It's for the Salem Peace Corridor. It's one of the longest streets in Dayton, I think. What they want to do is to help the community feel and the feeling of 
safety and um, the feeling of pride of being on Salem Avenue. And Dayton is known as a peace community. By putting something cheerful and non-threatening, but something that'll surprise people, that'll draw people there, that will cause people to smile, we think that it could help this whole process of change for this area. At one point I was thinking, wouldn't it be cool if they got different people in the communities to do different poles or benches or signs? So to start it off, we said we would do one of our blue butterfly installations. And it's a way of saying, I'm here and I believe in this area and, you know, smile, take a picture, enjoy it. Well, in January, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. And one of the things that I was concerned about was how to make people feel comfortable and also provide the means for other people to help you. We started asking people to create circles or knitted boobs or crochet boobs. And we collected all these boobs and put them together and put them on the trees outside the front of the house. What an absolute joy. Every time I left that house, every day for radiation, I would look at these boob trees and just giggle. So anyway, um, Nancy and I decided to do a show. We're best friends. We're going to call it Bosom Buddies, obviously. And the show is not just about me. It's about also showcasing how friends feel because it's hard for friends to watch loved ones going through this. So the Bosom Buddy Show will happen in April, um, and it'll be at the Yellow Springs Arts Council Gallery. It never occurred to me I could be an artist. They didn't actually do art till I was 40. I believe everybody creates art, and art does... It brings people together. Right, it's not just about yeah. the artists, it's about all the people in the community. It's been a blast. And it's just wonderful to have an art partner who is adventurous and likes to do crazy things sometimes.